The winds of change were already sweeping over British politics as Gibraltar headed to the polls in October 2019. The financial concerns were there. In his winner's speech, Fabian Picardo warned his third term would be different. The age of entitlement is over, he said, and Gibraltar faced a new age of responsibility, with the greatest challenge ever faced looming over the horizon. He meant Brexit, but a bigger threat was about to disrupt the entire world. COVID-19 changed everything. Fabian Bigardo delivered an emergency budget speech in March last year. Gibraltar was already in lockdown and MPs voted to extend the existing financial year for six months. Bars and restaurants were closed, Gibraltar shut its doors to tourists and all large events were cancelled. The elderly were confined to their homes. But with an estimated GDP of £2.44 billion, Gibraltar could borrow up to £500 million if needed to help pay for the cost of Covid on Gibraltar's economy. The financial period was extended again. By the end of the year, the government confirmed that the cost of Covid to the Gibraltar economy was £110 million. That figure included a £77 million shortfall in government revenue due to the pandemic. Most notable within that shortfall was a loss of £43 million worth of import duties after a number of waivers were introduced to help keep the economy going. Meanwhile, income tax was down £11 million. Company tax, rates and saltwater charges, bill charges to consumers and social insurance contributions not collected also accounted for losses in revenue for the government. Then there was the £34 million worth of payments, including £18 million for the BEAT scheme and £11 million for the GHA. By April this year, the government announced that the costs of the Covid pandemic had more than doubled to £227 million. £163 million of that was in loss of revenue. Now the government will need to claw back some of those losses. It has already raised social insurance payments which fund the statutory pension and health service and voluntary contributions to old age pensions have risen from £21.30 a week to £36.30 a week. Both hikes were criticised by the opposition. So what can we expect tomorrow when the Chief Minister crosses the lobby of Parliament with that all-important briefcase in his hand? Fabian Picardo has already said that this year's budget will reflect the problems being faced by every nation in the world. So what about the rest of us? Well, many are bracing themselves to having less money in their pockets. I would expect that government has to recover finances somehow from somewhere. And like everything in life, everything has to be paid for. And we've had our bread buttered on both sides for so long that we cannot conceive that we have to pay for anything, but we will have to. I, li I live in, 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 in glasses, as Bishop Amigo, and there's some work to be done in my block, but apparently there's no money for it. I think there's going to be a lot of, a lot of high rises on taxes and, and obviously the petrol we all seem this got is creeping up bit by bit. And and there's going to be a lot of, a lot of cutbacks that are going to, be, I'm going to maybe have to be taking them in place. It will probably be a budget where expenditure is going to be very, very, very controlled. They're going to have to prioritise on, on, on projects, on capital projects, and um, it's all going to have to be balanced against the amount of income that the government received. Fabian Picardo told GBC there will be no giveaways. The government will report a deficit of £158 million and projects a further deficit of £50 million next year. But the Chief Minister is expected to want to add to the benefits and allowances available to the disabled and to those who look after people with disabilities. Additionally, the government is expected to continue to increase the old age pension as it has done every year since they were elected. The minimum wage is expected to go up to £7.50 as the law was changed to provide for a five-year escalator in 2019 unless the Chief Minister agrees to representations made by the Chamber of Commerce and the Federation of Small Businesses to freeze the increases. Mr Picardo has not responded publicly to those representations yet.
The budget session this year is the latest in recent history. Before that was the then Chief Minister Peter Caruana in July of 2011. Tomorrow's budget will be held against the backdrop of rising cases of the Delta variant of the COVID-19 virus and the imminent publication of a mandate by the EU Commission, which is expected to be less than helpful. The Chief Minister is also expected to address those issues in his speech.